April 10th, 1971 is the day that our diverse group of American table tennis players and officials entered China. We were seven players and eight officials and spouses played exhibition matches in three cities, Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou, all in eight days. And all of it was wonderful and very stimulating. And throughout the trip, we were served endlessly so many banquets with delicious Chinese food. Via sports, we can have people-to-people -people exchanges where we learn about each other and appreciate each other on a human level and open up communication um, via the common language of our shared sport. I was fortunate enough to be on that world team and I was very excited because the Chinese had produced many world champions in the past and it was going to be a great opportunity for us to be able to practice and train with them. We played this match in Beijing. It was before an audience of 18,000 people, which was just a thrill for us Americans because in the United States 50 years ago, uh, you'd be lucky to get two or 300 spectators to watch a tournament. One of the other things that I have very fond memories of is when they took us to the Great Wall of China. And of course, uh, we could walk on the top and it was wider than I ever thought. One of the highlights of my trip was when we were um, taken to the Great Hall of the People in Beijing and we got to meet Premier John Ma and I was able to shake his hand along personally. I believe if we can have more people-to-people -people exchanges through sports, but not only sports, culture and education, it helps to break down barriers between countries. It also uh, produces understanding and uh, connects us all to each other. My name is Dell Squeers, and I was fortunate enough to be a member of the U.S. table tennis team when the Chinese came back to the United States as part of the 1972 ping pong diplomacy. I was fortunate to play Liang Ko Liang, who was uh, a member of the Chinese world team and had won the world championship in 1971 in mixed doubles. I also have developed a, a good friendship with Cheng Xilin from China. In 2011, we were able to go back to China as part of this uh, deal, and we traveled into China for about two weeks. I really hope that personally we can get together here soon again and celebrate the 50 years of ping pong diplomacy.